Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm the tinkering coordinator here at Imagination Station, and we're going to be doing some just tinkering, and we're going to be doing trash formations. So a lot of my friends ask me what trash formations is. Basically, we're taking some plastic bags, usually like grocery bags, and we are going to be fusing them together to create a plastic-like fabric that we can then use to turn into all sorts of stuff like bags or pencil pouches or even coats. So let's check out what my friend Jeff did because he has some really cool ideas. Wow, that was really fast. So let's kind of break this down. So the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need either an ironing board or a towel so that we can uh, use our iron. And then we're gonna need some parchment paper to protect our plastic and our ironing boards. And then we're also gonna need some plastic bags and it can be newspaper bags, it can be grocery bags or whatever kind of plastic bags you have. So I am gonna use my ironing board instead of the towel, because that's what I have. Also, when we're using our iron, we wanna remember that this part is really hot, so we don't wanna to touch that part. We wanna make sure we're using the handle, and we wanna make sure we're being safe with it. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our parchment paper down, and then we are gonna take some of our plastic bags, and you wanna place one. I like to rotate it and kind of place it the opposite direction so that I get a nice rectangle shape for my fabric. I can add one more. You can start off with three, but you can always go up to five or six if you need some more plastics or if you're noticing any holes in your plastic. So I like to flatten it out, get a lot of the air out first, and then I'm going to use my iron on like a medium heat, so then just move around in circles like this. And we wanna kinda keep it moving so that we don't melt one area and create a giant hole. We wanna kinda give everything else a nice even heat. And sometimes the plastic can get really hot, so if you need to use like an oven mitt or something to protect your hands, that's okay too. Or an adult can help you move it around. I like to rotate my paper around so that I am constantly changing where my iron is. And once we have got one side kind of melted together, we can give it a second to cool down so that we don't hurt our fingers. And then we can just kind of take a look at it and see if it's fused. I've got a couple wrinkles here from where the plastic bags haven't melted together. So I'm gonna flip it over so I can make sure I melt this side too. And then I'll just run my iron over it real quick here. Like that. And then you've got a plastic sheet of fabric. And with this, you can do so many different things, but this is just kind of your basic, now I've got a piece. All right, now that I've got my plastic fabric piece, what can I do with it? What can I make? So you could make something like a folder to hold some papers in it. You could make a lovely bag like Jeff did and add some straps to it. Or you could do something a little more complex and add different bags together to create a larger fabric. Like I made a dog coat for my dogs and so that they are protected in the rain. And I added four different plastic bag sheets together to create, they're pretty big dogs. And then I had a couple of sheets to create the hood. So you can always make bigger sheets, you can make smaller sheets, it just depends on what you wanna make with it. Now that you've got a plastic, boring kind of plain bag, you might wanna add some different details to it to make it more unique. 
So you can add some different colors to it. Like if you've got some plastic uh, tablecloth from like the dollar store or Amazon or something, or if you have some caution tape, you can add that to it to give it some different dimensions. Or you can even use newspaper bags that are maybe in an orange or a blue color to give it some different colors. So I've got a couple of pieces here that I can just add on top wherever I want. I got an A for Amanda, I got some hearts and just a couple stars. And once I've got them kind of where I want them on my bag, I'll just put the parchment paper on the bottom, the plastic bag, my designs, and then a piece of parchment paper on top. And then use your iron and just quickly go over those, just a couple circles, because they'll melt pretty quick. And then let it cool for just a second. You wanna be able to touch it still. And then as you can see, most of my, de my designs stayed on there. I've got one that I probably should run my iron over real quick again. But other than that, they're all fused on there real quick. So you don't need too much time when you're adding your straps or your designs or anything like that. So if you enjoyed this, uh, make sure you check out our other tinkering videos. We just did trash formations with just tinkering and uh, you can like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or anything that, leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any some re really cool ideas for different projects to do with your plastic fabric, we'd love to hear those too. Uh, so if you're a member, make sure you get your kit from Imagination Station at our store. Um, and if you need some other ideas for other tinkering activities, check out imaginationstationtoledo.org. And we've got a bunch of different activities up there. Have a great day.